Coach, how much uh, importance was the bye, just having that bye this, this week? Uh, to us, it was very important. Uh, with our style of play, you know, we feel like we really want to try to wear teams down. And, and uh, we saw it as a huge advantage that they had to play a tough game the night before and our guys could sit back and rest and watch. And uh, I think we, we took good advantage of that tonight. You all, in terms of moving forward, will face the winner of UMass and Temple. Um, I know that you're not going to have a preference uh, over which one you face, but um, what concerns you most about each of those two teams? Maybe what one thing concerns you most? Well, I think uh, UMass is extremely talented. Um, you know, from top to bottom, they're probably as long and as athletic and as talented as anybody in the league. And, and uh, they're one of the few teams that really likes to get up and down and, and uh, play a similar style to what we play in terms of tempo. Um, so, you know, they're scary in that regard. And uh, then Temple is a well-coached team. Uh, you know, they grind you out. Uh, they, they're physical. They have the conference player of the year. And uh, they just beat us uh, the last game of the year. So uh, I think both, both teams uh, present problems. Um, in terms of here tonight, we were just talking about it. You guys have absolutely tremendous fan base here. Um, is that par for the course in terms of neutral sites and in, in terms of how they travel and show? Yeah, I mean, we, we have an unbelievable fan base that uh, we're very fortunate to have. Um, they do a great job of, of bringing energy, and, and our guys feed off of that. And, and uh, I mean, we're, we're proud to look up in the stands and see them and, and uh, feed off what they give us. I know you're also proud of the effort that the guys gave tonight, you know, the relentlessness as usual. We know about the SEAL team training, the offseason, those types of things. But when you get to this point in the season, what's the tempo or the tenor of practice now? Do you... Do you let off the pedal a little bit in terms no. of? No, and, and I mean, that's part of our MO, that we're never going to let up. Uh, now, in terms of maybe the length of practice, it's maybe not as long as it was in the preseason or right. you know, during earlier parts of the season, but the intensity is uh, still the same. Uh, in fact, we're, you know, we're hoping to ratchet that intensity up each time we step on the floor. Um, so that, that, that's something that we're definitely trying to do from here on out. So there's no like conserving of legs at practice or anything, no. uh, other than just shortening up the practice maybe a little bit right. here and there. Yeah, right. I, th I think the duration of practice is a little bit shorter, but uh, you know we're not we're not concerned about uh, you know the entire you know the seal training and all the things that we've done to this point have helped our legs be where they are, and and uh, you know we hope to wear other people's legs out. And then last question. Um, what one player would you say would be your unsung hero tonight uh, in terms of how he played for you all? Oh, that's, that's a great question. Uh, I mean, we had a total team effort. I think we played every, every available player we had played in the first half of the game. Um, so for all big minutes, it was great to see Justin Toyo, who's a freshman, come out, come out and play big minutes, hit a big three. Um, I think Melvin Johnson as a freshman um, had, had some big moments for us. Um, but if I had to single out one player, it's tough, but I mean, I think it, it all goes back to our senior leader, Darius Diaz, and uh, you know, we talk about having great spirit all the time, and he's the ringleader for that for sure. Great, thanks, coach, and good luck in the semis. Thank you. Take care.